first one that I got is an animated film. It's coming from the DC Animation Studios. Um, they constantly pretty consistent, man. This might be the most consistent um, comic book world, to be honest. I mean, maybe not continuity-wise, but as far as quality, I would say. And uh, this one is going to be Batman the Doom that came to Gotham. And um, this is actually one of the longest ones, man, to be honest. So this is coming in at, um, I think I watched it earlier, it said 190, but I'm showing here uh, 1 hour 26 minutes. You see there about maybe 70 minutes sometimes, 77 minutes. So this is kind of one of the longer ones we've seen in a while. Directed by Christopher Berkeley and Sam Liu. And the synopsis is... All right, so the story goes as this, man. This film was inspired by the comic book series by Mike Magnolia, Richard Pace, and Troy Nixie. Uh, Batman, the doom that came to Gotham is a 1920s-based tale that finds explorer Bruce Wayne accidentally unleashing an ancient evil, expediting his return to Gotham City after a two-decade hiatus. The logic, science-driven Batman must battle Lovecraftian supernatural forces threatening the sheer existence of Gotham along the way being aided and confronted by reimagined versions of his well-known allies and enemies including Green Arrow, Ra's al Ghul, Mr. Freeze, Killer Croc, Two-Face, James Gordon, and Bruce's beloved wards. Prepare for a mystical, often terrifying Batman adventure unlike any other. And um... I guess voice cast, we got a few people listed. Um, this is kind of interesting. We got David um, Gunt, um, Tolley, um, Tati Gabrielle. I feel like, uh, what was she in recently? Tati Gabrielle. She was like in one of these. Uh, I think she might have been in, if I'm correct, she might have been in the Uncharted film. Okay. Yep, yep. That was a good guess, Monk. I'm good sometimes, man. Sometimes the brain be clicking. We also get Gideon Adlon. Christopher Gore, Gorham, uh, J Jason Marsden. We also get David uh, Das Mouchian. It's pretty cool too. Um, Patrick Fabian, Jeffrey Combs, Karan Brar, Sam Liu, James Craig. Um, and those are rounding out the uh, voice cast. But for the most part, man, this is enjoyable. Um, this definitely is more of an Elseworld kind of thing, so it doesn't really have any continuity. It's kind of like a what if Batman story. And like I said in the synopsis, the Lovecrafty and stuff is there. And I kind of picked up on that immediately, especially the way the film opens up. You know, there's definitely a lot of, you know, Lovecraft references in this. And I kind of liked it though, man. Um, I can see some people getting a little fatigued with it re retreading over familiar territory, especially the reimagining of, of some of his rogues gallery. You know, it's like, do we got to see Two-Face origin again? <laughs> you know, that kind of stuff. But still, um, you know, if you haven't seen a lot of these films and this thing is still probably going to be fresh to you, you know, if you have seen a lot, I could see where that complaint could come in. But for me personally, it was an enjoyable ride and it was kind of cool seeing this, you know, different take on Batman. You know, he's he's Batman at the core, but there are a lot of differences, you know, with his makeup and design. You know, it's just a little ticks and quirks uh, he keeps talking about the cave and for some reason alfred's antenna calling is like no nah, that's our wine cellar bruce you know and, and that comes up a couple times and um we definitely like like i said man the reimagination of re uh re um imagined versions of the characters is cool man there's a there's a pretty cool um take on green arrow on this and and it's also mixed in with this mysticism and the like i said the lovecraftian influence so so these things they're they're kind of at their core similar um you know to the original versions of the characters but then there's such a spin on it with the mysticism and there's this um this magical stuff that, that we're not usually used to seeing in in a batman film you know a lot of his enemies even the the most wacky ones are still kind of a scientific origin to them so this is kind of cool um you know delving into that um you know realm for the series and there's some cool stuff the animation is cool too one thing mm -hmm. i did notice when you said um when you explained it to me earlier and you told me who wrote the story and like um mm -hmm. ignola that's who yeah. came up with hellboy mm -hmm. so that's yeah why i noticed I, that when i as i was reading that earlier it, that's, it dinged that's, in my head i was like I like this and you know yeah. right mm -hmm. now i want to see it just because of that 
Yeah, but yeah, I, yeah. Look, I when I read that name earlier, I was like, oh, okay. Like, yeah. yeah that, it, that, it, that, it, explains <laughs> a, that explains a lot. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, so 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 it's cool man like i said man it's, it's not nothing that's going to be canon or anything like that but it is kind of fun to see what someone else is doing you know putting these characters in a blender and mixing them up in this different way i mean it's a you know it, it just um you know like um yeah i guess that character is not in here so i'm not going to spoil it but but it makes sense it's still essentially a batman story it's just that we've got it in a new kind of dressing on top of yeah. it you know Mm -hmm. and there are some new characters at least characters that i hadn't seen before that are in here especially his wards um they don't really um you know mention who they are in the synopsis but there are some characters i haven't seen before maybe they've appeared in different versions and in, in different books but but they were new to me so okay. um but but it was a good time man like i said it's well done as these things normally are the animation is really good and the mystery itself kind of unfolds in, a, in an interesting manner too man so so i appreciated it you know um and yeah you it's streaming right now so it's not on hbo max but if you want to uh, rent it right now you can rent it on voodoo and prime video uh they have rent and buy options so if you want to buy it you know i know some people like to scoop these up and kind of collect them but but you can uh watch it or rent it you know for a couple bucks or buy it um this buy sell price right now is at 20 bucks but usually if you wait a while later in the year they'll have a sale on all these things and you can just scoop it up for a little bit less if you want but the rental fee is about six bucks right now. 